I often get asked what my songwriting process is like. Uh, many times someone will ask me, oh, do you start with the lyrics first and then you put the music around it? Or do you start with the music first and then you start putting words on top of it? Uh, and the truth is there aren't many consistent aspects of my songwriting process. Uh, if you were to ask me how long it takes for me to write a song, I would tell you uh, any time between a day and a year. I don't actually say that, but it's not false. The one consistent aspect of my songwriting process is that I never write lyrics without thinking of a vocal melody for those words as I write them. It's just not how my mind works. What I mean by this is that when I'm writing lyrics, I'm already singing them in my head. An alternative process to this that I don't do is writing down words and rhyming lines and then trying to create a melody for which those words can be sung. My mind just doesn't work like that. It is impossible for me to detach words from their melodiousness. So when I'm writing lyrics, I'm never writing like, so if I pushed you, or if I came on too strong, or if I ambushed you, for that, I'll say I was wrong, with no melody supporting those words. Uh, instead, I'm writing down the words with a vocal melody in mind, like this. So if I pushed you, or if I came on too strong, or if I ambushed you. Words and their melodiousness are always attached for me. Other than that one singular aspect, I don't know that there is any other major consistent part of my songwriting process. It really depends on the song. For example, the song I was just singing, which isn't released yet in Epic, was a song that I wrote all of the lyrics and vocal melody, of course, and the chords for on piano before I did a full orchestration of it. That means that I sat on a piano like this and I was just kind of mumbling lyrics and words to myself trying to figure out how the song goes. Like, so if I pushed you, or if I came on too strong, or if I ambushed you, or that I'll say it was wrong. And then once I had an idea of how I wanted the entire song to go, and once I knew how it sounded in my head, then I went forward with orchestrating the entire thing. So if I pushed you, Now, when I was in college, I was always told by other students or by my professors um, that the process to write a song should be such that you can do the entire song only on piano first before you start orchestrating it. And they were all super amazing professors and students. However, in my personal experience, I found that that didn't always work the best for me. My personal belief is that the very essence of creativity is exploration. And so I found that when I allow other doors, other processes, and other methods of creating a song to be open, um, I find that that's where I thrive the most. So for example, the song Dangerous, which is another unreleased song in Epic that Hermes sings, when I was writing that song, I knew what I wanted the vocal melody to sound like, but I did not know the words in which I would put into that vocal melody. And so what I did instead was I continued forth with a uh, idea of what the song will sound like, and then I start experimenting more with specific lyrics. So for example, I knew that I wanted But I didn't know yet the exact words. So I kept going forth with like making the full song orchestration wise, knowing what I wanted the song to be about, but not knowing the exact words and syllable separation for every single line until I eventually got to First stop uncharted waters When lost look towards the sky Follow the North Star no matter how far You think you go when you and so as you can see, that's a very different process than the one that I used when I was writing Not Sorry For Loving You. In Not Sorry For Loving You, I started first with the lyrics tied to the vocal melody and a piano version of the song. And when I was doing Dangerous, while I didn't know all of the exact lyrics yet, I knew what I wanted them to sound like, I knew what I wanted the vibe of the song to be, and I knew what the general content of the song was, and so I moved forward with continuing the orchestration for the song and then diving into the lyrics, specifically the syllables and what exact words am I using for each line. There are many other times, like for example, The Horse and the Infant, where I was writing the orchestration at the same time as I was writing the lyrics. 
So if I had an idea for what the lyrics might sound like or what the orchestration could be or the music, I would do those hand in hand. And so I guess the point of me saying all this is that, one, my songwriting process is inconsistent and I think that's why it makes it both terrifying and stressful, but also beautiful and fun. And two, that in my personal opinion, the essence of creativity is exploration. And so if you tell yourself that there's only one specific way to go about writing a song or creating anything, then you are putting restrictions on your own creativity. I was in a very low place in my life right before I wrote Not Sorry For Loving You. And I kid you not, I got inspired to write Not Sorry For Loving You when I was on the toilet and a video of Uncle Iroh showed up for me and I immediately was like, I know what I need to do. And then I wrote Not Sorry For Loving You in one night after months of struggling to get the right Calypso song and the right feel for these characters. It just hit me all at once. <laughs> Inspiration is always fleeting, but it always exists. The very essence of creativity is exploration of the mind. I don't know. <laughs>